Hey guys, how's it going? Ted's back again with another video and what I've got for you today is an Xbox One unboxing. It's literally just arrived through the post so I'm going to crack into this, we'll have a look what's inside the box and uh, go through the different uh, different things one by one, have a quick look at uh, what is included. It is the Day One edition. Uh, I will apologise in advance for any uh, dodgy amateurish camera work. Unfortunately I don't have some sort of uh, camera and tripod I can use for this, I'm having to uh, to film it on my iPhone 5S, so uh, apologies for any shakiness, but as you can see we've got Kinect, the uh, the console and the controller on the front, so uh, without any further ado, let's crack inside, and as you can see the first thing that you find is the Kinect block, now it is actually quite chunky, let me just take out this cardboard filler, and now uh, you've got the big cable underneath it there, and then the Kinect block itself, of course. It's got the uh, the camera and uh, facial recognition, etc. with this. Of course, voice commands as well. It's uh, supposedly Kinect 2.0, I believe it's called. And uh, it's supposed to be an extremely improved uh, concept on the first edition. I haven't actually ever used a console with Kinect, so I'm quite looking forward to seeing what uh, what sort of, uh, sort of stuff we can do with that. As you can see in this little compartment here, we have my uh, Xbox One copy of FIFA 14 that came with the pre-order and uh, of course the the usual gubbins with uh, stickers and uh, just general instruction books but so uh, we don't really need to have a look at those now look here we've got the Xbox One headset now let me just quickly unpack this I may cut quickly so this is the new Xbox One headset for obviously playing online etc talking with your friends in life parties as you can see it's got a nice big round bit, bit of uh, foam there over the speaker of course there is a little bit of foam on there as well for uh, for comfort, I presume. And then you've got the uh, the mic on an arm. Now, as you can see, uh, there isn't actually any apparent pop filter on that mic there. We'll bring it a little bit closer, see if I can get it to, uh, to focus in. It's not going to focus, is it? But, uh, yeah, that... Um, that is the, how the mic looks. Now, I'm not sure whether there is an inbuilt pop filter on that, so I'm not too sure what the quality will be like. As you can see from the cable, this is how it plugs into the controller. It is quite a chunky piece of kit, and as you can see, it plugs in via uh, the new connector at the bottom. So I'm not too sure what the situation is with gaming headsets right now and their compatibility with the Xbox One, for example, you know, Turtle Beaches, Tritons. Astros etc but that is how it's going to connect to the bottom of the controller and uh, then it is the controller itself so let me just take this wrapping off and there we have the new Xbox One controller of course day one edition as you can see in the middle very very pleased to uh, to be able to pick up uh, one of the day one editions limited edition consoles for, uh, for pre-release and uh, it looks very very nice indeed I have had hands on at the Xbox One tour down in London so I am uh, slightly familiar, you might say, with the uh, with the controllers. You can see it's an improved D-pad. Uh, one, not one big button anymore. You've got four separate different prongs, so that hopefully will be easier to use. The sticks are very, very nice indeed. I particularly like the uh, the ridged edge, as you can see there. Uh, helps with the improved grip, etc. And uh, the triggers are particularly very nice. Of course, not spring loaded this year or this year, this uh, this generation. Uh, very, very nice indeed. The, uh, the Shoulder buttons, LB and RB, feel very, very nice as well. Of course, you've got uh, the menu button on the right-hand side here. Different layout now. And uh, what was the backspace button or select button for uh, for PlayStation, etc. Now has two... I'm um, see if I can get this to focus. It doesn't look like it's one going to. But uh, there is two little squares on that, uh, on that particular button there. Maybe you can see it a little bit further out. There you go. And uh, I'm not really too sure what that button is called. But uh, that is the equivalent of the... Uh, of the backspace button, and as you, as you can see, as I'm kind of sweating all over it, it's kind of a matte, it's kind of a matte black finish to it, which is quite nice actually. It does look very, very appealing to the eye, and I do like the way the buttons are now uh, all black with uh, the coloured lettering on it, right, as opposed to uh, a fully coloured button with a see-through letter. That does look very, very nice indeed. And of course, you've got the Xbox button at the top. I'm led to believe that, or uh, well, as far as I can remember from the Xbox One event, that that button isn't doesn't glow that brightly, it's not distracting when you're holding the controller in front of you, it's just kind of got a nice little white glow to it, so uh, that is the controller, and then as we look further into the box of course, we're going to have a HDMI cable, top quality HDMI cable that comes with the console, that is very very handy indeed, because you know they could have quite easily not included a HDMI cable, and then uh, we've got part of, the, uh, part of the power cord here, in this uh, in the cellophane of course, and then the power brick is actually... Actually, quite a sizable power brick. 
Now the PS4, I'm led to believe, has an, uh, an in-house power brick. It's uh, actually inside the console. As you can see, it's quite chunky. So, uh, but you know, it won't take up any more space than the, the 360 one that I currently have plugged in upstairs. So that will be uh, powering the console. And then let's have a look underneath here to the actual console itself. We have some, uh, of course, the, the stereotypical padding to protect it from, uh, from any damage during delivery. But uh, let's get you out of here, shall we? Give me two seconds. And here we have the console itself. As you can see, there's no actual disc tray this time. Uh, it is just uh, an in-house one. So uh, you'll slot the disc in there. That's where we're going. Of course, you've got the, the touch uh, touch eject button. And uh, of course, this is the, the power on button over here. We've got plenty of ventilation on top. And it's kind of a, a dual feature or dual uh, dual colouring to it because of course you've got the uh, the shiny finish on this side which in fact does leave a lot of uh, nasty fingerprints so do be careful with that you'll presume that's actually going to attract quite a lot of dust as well so hopefully that uh, that doesn't become too much of an issue but the top you see Xbox down here in the bottom left this is all fan ventilation uh, as we turn it round we do have plenty of ventilation on the side as well it's the same the other side as you can see a little bit a uh, little bit bigger here and of course there is a, a USB 3.0 socket there, which is very, very nice indeed. And uh, this is the back. Now you've got power cord, HDMI out. So of course that will go to your television. Uh, HDMI in, which is uh, very, very handy indeed. You can actually plug in, for example, a Skybox or uh, perhaps even another console here and go from that console or Skybox by HDMI into the Xbox One. And then using the in, uh, in-house software, you can... Uh, you can view the uh, the output from the second box through the Xbox One, which is extremely, uh, extremely handy. That's obviously part of their uh, all-in-one entertainment system that they're trying to uh, become the only box in your living room. So that is their plan, and that's how they do it. Uh, you've got two further uh, USB ports on the back. You'll presume they're 2.0, and then of course your uh, your Ethernet cable port there. Should you uh, should you be connecting up via Ethernet as opposed to wireless, I will be using that port. I do. Uh, have my Xbox hardwired to uh, to my internet, but that is the Xbox One. This is the new generation. So uh, thank you very much for watching, guys. Apologies again if uh, the camera work is a little bit shoddy. Uh, this is like my first ever unboxing type video. So uh, please do feel free to leave the video a like if you did enjoy. That'd be superb. Let me know in the comment section down below what video, what video, what uh, what console you're getting for next generation if you're getting one. Uh, are you getting it on uh, on pre-order, on pre-release? Are you getting it on uh, you know on release day? Or are you waiting until perhaps after Christmas and wait for some prices to drop? Right, so that is going to wrap this one up. I'm going to go and plug this in and uh, get playing. So uh, thank you very much for watching, guys, and I will see you next time.